Lord, everybody. Blessings to you. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm going to wait for a few more people to join in, but I'm so glad. Happy Purim. Today, Friday, February 26th. It is Purim, okay? And uh, I mean, I've, I've already done so many teachings on it. In fact, tonight um, and tomorrow, tonight in Orange County, tomorrow in North Hollywood, I'm going to be doing a special anointing service. Someone say special anointing service for the power of Purim. Amen. And uh, even this Wednesday, uh, I did a Facebook group challenge special on the power of Purim, preparing you to obtain your promises. Are you ready to obtain? Are you ready to possess? Are you ready to occupy? Amen. So this is a season to possess the promises of God. This is a season to possess and to occupy the things that God has destined and ordained for you. Amen. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. And of course, every month, uh, I believe I've been commissioned. I have an assignment to give a prophetic word for every single month. Okay. Who here knows that God is a God of times and seasons. And in every time and season, he wants to give us understanding and insight to properly not only discern, but to properly function in what we've been called for. Now, March is right around the corner. Or if you're watching now, we may already be in the month of March. But it is an exciting month. Some say hallelujah. It is a month of miracles. It's a month where you're going to marvel at the things of God. Amen. So I want to welcome you. Give us some hearts, likes, do share. I want to welcome you. Uh, do share, share, because we want some. Uh, we want your friends to be connected to this mantle, to be connected to this anointing, and to hear the word of the Lord for this month. Amen. Let me give some shout outs here. Hello, the child of Most High Blessings. Hello, the Tyler Blessings. Justin Wadalski. I think I know that name. I know that name. Blessings to your brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh huh. Ivana, blessings to you. Maria, blessings to you. Maria, when are we going to see your kids, your twins? Huh? Juliana, blessings to you. Gray MG, blessings. Stephanie Grace, blessings to you. Maureen Crowley, blessings. Miss you, my friend. Hallelujah. And, and let me ask you, have you been enjoying uh, Pastor Jessica Good Singing, Amanda Blessings, Arlene Blessings, MJ Alice? Have you been enjoying our Breaker series? Of course, this last Monday we released one with uh, Kat Kerr. And last week we released one with Jamie Galloway. So there's a lot of great content that we're releasing with our new series called The Breaker. Some say Breaker. Miss you too, Maureen, greatly. We should catch up soon. Mary Blessings from Greensboro. You know, I'm going to be in North Carolina this week. Marjorie, blessings to you. And I am going to be back in the Pacific Northwest in a few weeks as well. Carmela, blessings. Praise God. Well, thanks everybody for the hearts, likes, and shares. I want to go straight into the Word today. Uh, once again, my name is Pastor Ben. And uh, thanks for your love, your support, and just really for being a friend of God. We appreciate you. I'm really excited for the month of March. Let me ask you. Has February been awesome? Okay, I, I prophesied and I declared January a month of justice where Jezebel will be thrown down and the Jehus will rise. Amen. And of course, February was a month of returns and reversals. And literally, even as we're coming to an end of February, or you may be watching now, February is already over. Even as we're coming to the end of February right now, uh, there's returns and reversals of Purim. Someone say Purim, okay? Now, uh, because February is in the month of Adar, and we're currently in the month of Adar, so March is in the Hebrew month, so it's a Hebrew month, March is in the Hebrew month of Adar, so of course the significance for Adar is uh, is Purim, okay, and I love the celebration of Purim, in fact the Jews, the scholars uh, call Purim the happiest celebration, come on somebody, uh, the Jews called Adar and Purim the happiest of months, the happiest celebration. Why? Because there's festivities, there's plunder, there's Haman is cursed, there's recompense, there's, there's a celebration all throughout the streets of Susa, and you begin to plunder your enemies. Now, I am going to talk to, talk to you more about that in the name of Jesus. All right? I need prayer for my baby girls. Oh, close stasis for my body. Amen. I come to agreement with you, Maria. Anything that's not of God, be removed, be healed, 
touch the body of Maria. Maria, Shava, but you already know that these, this, these, your twins are miracle babies. Do not fear, says God. For he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion and fruition. Amen. Amen and amen. We bless you, Maria, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So February was a month of returns, reversals, of heavy rain, and really of the resurrection. Amen. Uh, but now month, uh, the month of March, I want to tell you, the month of March is a month of marvel. Someone say marvel. Are you ready to marvel at the things of God? Okay, I'm not talking about DC, Marvel, Capcom. Are you ready to marvel at the things of God? Which literally means be astonished. Which means to be perplexed, to be uh, to be bewildered, okay? It means that you're literally out of your mind and out of sight because the glory, the goodness of God is shocking you, is surprising you. I love all throughout the Gospels where the Bible says that as Jesus healed the sick, they marveled at his teachings. They said, Yeshua, Jesus, your teachings are different from everybody else. They marveled at the words of Jesus. They marveled at the miracles. Come on, somebody. Are you ready to marvel in the month of March? I decree and declare that March is a month of marvel. In Espanol is marveloso. It's a month where you're going to marvel and your mouths are going to be filled with joy and laughter. <laughs> it's a month of feasting and celebration and goodness and glory. Someone say amen. So in this month of March, no matter what the world says, what the news says, it's going to be a month of marvel. Shout about where God is going to cause you to be astonished. Someone say amen. And if you're with me today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and do share. Share, share, share. I have three prophetic points for you uh, for this March of Marvel. And if you don't follow me on YouTube or on our public page, please follow me, Ben Lim or Ben Lim Global. Amen. I have three prophetic points for you for this March of Marvel. Okay, but before we go into that, I want to talk to you because March, the Gregorian month, March, is split in half with two Hebrew months. Okay. Two Hebrew months. March, the first half, is a month of Adar. In fact, right now, we're already in the month of Adar. So I'm going to say Adar. A-D-A-R. We are in the month of Adar. And the second half whew, is the month of Nisan. Come on, somebody. I didn't say Mitsubishi. I didn't say Nissan. It is the month of Nissan. I, I guess the Japanese motor companies uh, are studying Hebrew. So March is split in half with Adar and Nissan. Come on, somebody. And Adar in the Hebrew or in the original word, excuse me, comes from Adir, which stands for strength and power. Someone say strength and power. Somebody say, I am receiving my strength back. Someone say, I'm receiving power for the joy of the Lord is my strength. So March is a month of power. Come on, somebody. It is a month where your strength begins to increase. You felt tired. You felt weak. But now it's a month where strength begins to increase. And it's a month where it's the spring season. So things are springing up. I want to read this passage to you. Shut that up, 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 up. I love in a verse of Isaiah, Isaiah 43, verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Come on, somebody. It springs up from a distance. So March is the beginning of spring. Come on, somebody. I declare spring season over you. The winter has passed and the spring has come. The winter of depression, doom and gloom, confusion has passed and the spring has come. Woo, shabba, ba, ba. Someone say new. Someone say, I received the new of the spring season in his month of March. Someone say, amen. So Adar <clears throat> stands for strength and power. But it is also the month where the Jews, come on somebody, it was the last month the Jews were in Egypt. Which means the new month called Nisan, which is still in March, 
Nisan is the Hebrew month where the Jews exiled and left Egypt. Are you ready to leave Egypt in this month of March? Are you ready to plunder Egypt seven times over? Are you ready to leave Egypt and have your Passover? Come on, somebody. To have your crossover. Are you ready to pass over and to cross over and to leave Egypt in Nisan in this month of March? I said it's a month of mega miracles. I said it's a month where you will marvel. I said March is a month where your mouth will be filled with the praises and the joy and the laughters of God. <laughs> Some say March. Some say March is my month where I leave Egypt. Come on, somebody. I feel a preach, Adrian. March is a month where they left Egypt. Come on, somebody. I got to move more to this side. It's a month where they left Egypt. They didn't turn back. They didn't look back. Come on, somebody. You're about to leave your Egypt season. Anything that enslaved you, anything that kept you in bondage, anything that kept you small in the eyes of people, anything that kept a burden over your shoulders, God is breaking the burden. There's a break or anointing in the month of March. Someone say amen. It is a month of mega miracles. It is a month where you're going to leave Egypt. Come on, somebody. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to walk out of Egypt. I want to dance out of Egypt. <laughs> you know, scholars say that there was possibly around 2.4 million Jewish people that fled Egypt. Think about that. Are you ready for deliverance? Are you ready for breakthrough? Are you ready to walk out of Egypt? Not empty-handed, but with bags full of plunder. That's what's happening in this month of March. Someone say March of Miracles. Someone say March of Marvel. So Nisan is the is the Hebrew month of Passover. So really, from really all of March, people of God, all of March. Of course, Passover is in April, and we are in Lent right now. But really, March is a month. Of preparation and building up he's building you up for the greatest breakthrough where God had to stretch out his hands before Pharaoh and they passed over and the Red Sea was split in two so March is a month of buildup some say buildup March is a month of preparation and buildup for this breakthrough come on somebody Ooh, I feel the Lord but we're talking to you today about the month of March, I believe March, this is the month of March of Marvel. You will marvel, amen? So let me give you three prophetic points. Someone say three prophetic points. Your first prophetic point is marching orders. In this month of March, you'll gain new assignments. It's going to spring up before you. In this month of March, not only we have strength and power, like a dar or a deer, but you're going to gain new assignments, new strategies, new marching orders. Come on, somebody. In this month of March, you're getting yourself ready for the Passover that's to come in Nisan or the month of April. So March is a month of marching orders, set up, new assignments, new strategies, shakarakata. Just knew everything. It's a month of spring. Amen. Remember, right now, I mean, we're right now we're actually in Purim. Okay. And of course, Purim is in the Hebrew. I hope you're following me. I know I'm going, you know, uh, touching a lot of bases here. But Purim is in the month of Adar. Okay. And Purim stands for. The false decrees of Haman are overturned. Okay. The false decrees of Haman is overturned. Okay. So in the month of March, you gain new marching orders because the false marching orders or the false legislation is overturned. And now you're getting new legislation. I said you're getting new paper. You're getting new money. You're getting new currency. So in the month of March, it's really the celebration still of Purim. Someone say Purim. Let me read some verses for you here today. 
Esther 7.10, the Bible says they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. They hanged Haman. Who's Haman? The accuser of the brethren. The antagonizing spirit. The spirit that's trying to annihilate the Judeo-Christian biblical worldview in America. That Haman was hung and that Haman was destroyed. Come on, somebody. Which means victory and vindication is yours in this Purim March season. So to amen. Verse number two, Esther 8, 2. Esther 8, 2. The king took off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman, and he gave it to Mordecai. And Esther was set over, and Esther sent Mordecai over the house of Haman. So you are about to gain the authorities and the positions of your enemies in this month of March. I said March is a month of new marching orders, new assignments. The roles are shifting. Things are turning towards your favor. Are you ready to receive the rings? Are you ready to receive the signet rings? The signature rings. I see signatures in the spirit. I see signatures on checks. Signatures on papers. God is about to seal the deal with the signet ring. I love this. Esther 8, 15 to 17. Then Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal robes of blue and white. With a great golden corona, not a coronavirus, a golden crown, and a robe of fine linen and purple. This kind of purplish, this jacket. And the city of Susa shouted and rejoiced. Whoa! The Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. My gosh. And in every province and in every city, wherever the king's command and his edict, his legislation, his decree, his order, his marching order, reach, there was gladness and joy among the Jews. A feast and a holiday. And many of the peoples of the country declared themselves Jews for fear of the Jews had fallen on them. This is the miracles that's available in March. If God did it then, God will do it today. I decree it, I declare it in the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. So March of Marvel, number one, expect new marching orders, new decrees, new orders, new assignments. Number two. There's going to be movement. Someone say movement. Okay. March is a month where the Jewish people began to prepare to exit and exile Egypt. So March is a month of movement. Things are moving forward. Things are building up. They're being prepared. Things are moving forward in your favor. Someone say amen. Shut up, 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 up. March is a month where you're going to have divine movement and things are springing up for you. Some say movement. <laughs> Woo! You're moving from glory to glory. You're moving from the pit to the palace. You're moving from being persecuted to being promoted. I said you're moving from being an orphan girl to becoming a queen like Esther, being honored like Mordecai. You're moving. Some say I'm moving. So in this march of marvel, there's going to be mega movement. Things are moving forward for you. Where you felt stale, where you felt stagnant, things are moving forward for you. Amen. Some would say movement is my portion. Now, I love this. My last, my third prophetic point for the month of March <clears throat> is miracles, of course. You know, I love miracles. God's a God of miracles. Honestly, family miracles, financial miracles, healing miracles, ministry miracles. This is a season of miracles. And in fact, just this morning, Adrian, as I was praying, getting ready, I felt like I, I want to, you know, write a book 
on the God of the miraculous. Because in these days, with more lockdowns, bans, and evil and corruption manifesting in America and in the nations of the earth with the one world order, we need to depend on the God of miracles more than ever before. We need, we need to see the supernatural and the miraculous like it was as God delivered his people from Egypt in the same way. But my third prophetic point for the March of Marvel this month is miracles. Someone's in miracles. Okay? Remember, deliverance, redemption. That's Passover. Deliverance, redemption, vindication, victory, and breakthrough. Okay? In this month of March, there's going to be miracles. In fact, the Jews call Nisan. If you study the, the word Nisan, the word and the name Nisan comes from the root word of miracles. Come on, somebody. It comes from the root word of miracles. And in fact, Nisan, what it means is miracles of miracles. So Nisan is a month of miracles of miracles. It is a month of the creme de la creme. It is a month of the heights of all heights. It is a month where God begins to stretch out his hand before Egypt and you see 2.4 million people cross over. Come on, somebody. And like I said, you're not going to leave Egypt empty-handed. You're going to leave with bags full of plunder. Someone say bags. Someone say Fendi. Someone say uh, Christian Dior. Someone say Gucci. Someone say Louis. You're going to leave with bags full of plunder. Someone say hallelujah. So Nisan is a month where the Jews call the miracles of miracles. My gosh. Sharababase. In this march of marvel, get ready to marvel. Get ready to be astonished. The Bible says, as the days of your exodus from Egypt. I shall reveal to him wonders. Some say wonders. So I believe in this month of March, we're going to see wonders. We're going to see wonders in the sky, in the weather patterns. We're also going to see wonders in the stock market and in the stock exchange. Okay, I know right now it seems like there's a drop or a correction. But in the month of March, we're going to see wonders, miracles in the realm of finances, okay? And in the sky and in the weather patterns. In this month of March, get ready to marvel. Get ready for new marching orders, for movements, and for miracles. So I'm say hallelujah. In this Purim season, as we're being prepared to go over to Passover, God is beginning to release His favor and His glory. He's overturning every false decree. And you will see the mighty hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, I want to pray for you right now. You know, uh, glory to God. Glory to God. I'm speechless, honestly. I'm so speechless. I'm so grateful to the Lord. Aren't you grateful? Aren't you happy? I'm so grateful to the Lord. My gosh. Let's just worship the Lord for a minute. Amen. Let's just worship Jesus together for a minute. <laughs> miracles upon miracles. Movements. The dead places will rise. The dead things will come back to life. In this month of March, you will marvel. You will be astonished. You will be blown away. You will be shocked. Manda kanda banda kira bruska baskara bara bruska. 
The Lord is about to crown you. The Lord is about to give you a signet ring. The Lord is about to robe you. He's about to robe you with royalty. He's about to shout your name in the streets. And people are about to rejoice. It's a time to celebrate. It's a time to feast. It's a time to rejoice and to plunder your enemies. Jesus. Oh, 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 God, we worship you. Oh, God, I worship you. Oh, God, I worship you. A new strength, a new joy, a new power is coming to you. I give you thanks, my God. I give you thanks, my Lord. I give you thanks, my God. I give you thanks, my God. Some of you are about to get a new signet ring, which stands for the signatures of God. Are you ready for? Signatures on checks, on the dotted line, on papers. I prophesy your needed papers are coming. The needed documents are coming. The needed papers are coming to you right now. Some say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Now I want to release a corporate prayer over you. Okay. I want to release a corporate blessing over you. But before I release the corporate blessing, I want to invite you tonight and tomorrow. We're doing a special anointing service, okay? A special anointing service for Pur and Power Weekend. All right. Tonight. And tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. All right, I'm going to lay my hands on all of you and prophesy and minister and anoint you with oil. And believe that the favor and the grace of Esther and Mordecai will come over you. I believe in the power of Pearl. I believe that this is a time portal. I believe that this is an appointed time for you. So if you can, come. Okay, come, come. I want you to come. Drive, people. Your life will never be the same again. I promise you. Your life will never be the same again. Amen. Now, before I release my corporate prayer over you, and I even feel like I want to actually minister over just a few people too, which I rarely do on Facebook. But, you know, all week since 222, Prophetic Keys, February 22, I've been really moving in a prophetic flow, really, ever since last weekend too. But I want to release a corporate blessing over you. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Make his face shine upon you. You shall overcome every obstacle. You shall overcome every hindrance. God is removing barriers and hindrances. And God is releasing an anointing to you in this season, in the month of March. You shall marvel. You will see the strong hand and arm of God. And He will deliver you from Egypt. You will receive your Purim to your Passover. And you will cross over and you will plunder your enemies. Every false decree will be overturned. And you shall gain. The possessions of the land. Somebody say, in this month of March, I will marvel. Someone say, it's a march of marvel. Someone say, amen. Now, I want to pray for some of you. If you receive it, say amen. Say amen. Now, I want to pray for some of you. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I feel like some of you need to respond to this word. By sowing into this March of Marvel word, okay? I usually don't even, uh, you know, open up offerings whenever I give the prophetic word of the month. But I feel like I need to today because there's an expectation 
for miracles upon miracles. Oof. So, Deborah, if you can just pin the ways to give right now, people of God, if this word today resonated with you, a march of marvel, I want you to sow a seed according to your faith. It will be done to you. Amen. According to your faith, sow a seed of marvel. All right, my God. All right. And if you sow a seed today, I want you to comment seed of marvel. Okay. I want you to comment that seed of marvel, seed of marvel. And I just want to touch and agree by calling out your name. Amen. Seed of marvel. Someone say seed of marvel. I want you to comment. Seed of marvel, seed of marvel. My gosh, remember, if you sow a seed of marvel, you will reap a harvest of marvel. Woof. Were you blessed today? Do you receive? Are you in agreement? Hallelujah. And then afterwards, I'm going to pray for a few of you personally. Amen. I'm going to call you up by name. So if you sow a seed of marvel today, because you're expecting that March is a month of marvel. You're expecting a March is a month of mega miracles. Amen. I want to invite you right now. Don't miss this moment. According to your faith, sow a seed of marvel. And if you choose or if you do sow a seed of marvel, I want you to comment seed of marvel. And I'm going to call you out by name. Just touch and agree. Touch and agree. Hallelujah. God bless you, Stephanie Grace. Grace upon grace to you. Arlene, blessings to you. Marjorie, blessings to you. Amen. Seed of marvel. Get ready for a harvest of marvel. Amanda, blessings to you. Prophetess Ivana, blessings to you. Pastor Sharon, blessings to you. My gosh. Rabarabase, Terebese, Mandariska, Nabroska. Kathleen Lokalani, I love the last name. You must be Hawaiian. Blessings to you. Shoot. Event mirrors, blessings to you. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus. Jesus. MJ Alice Via Real. Amen. Blessings to you. Oh, your name is Marjorie. Maria, blessings to you. I'm believing with you, Maria. Okay. You've come this far. You're not going to go back. Arlene, blessings to you. In this Purim season, in this March of Marvel, get ready to Marvel. Get ready for miracles. Amen. Come on. Someone say, March is my month of miracles. Say, March is my month of movement. Praise you, Jesus. <clears throat> Praise you, Jesus. Well, God bless you. Everybody who should quit a blessings to you. Amen. Every single one of you who chose to, by faith, Maricela, blessings to you. By faith, you sowed a seed of marvel today. Oof. So now I want to pray over some of you here. Hallelujah. MJ, I want to pray for you. MJ Alice via real. I want to pray for you. I see promotion coming to you. I see open doors coming to you. I see literally where there's two or three papers, proposals or resumes. Okay. Two, three proposals, resumes, job proposals. But in this month of March, something's going to open up. In this month of March, what you've been waiting for is going to open up. <clears throat> Someone say open up. In this month of March, MJ, um, there's going to be a real oil of gladness that comes over you. I'm telling you, the favor of God is going to shine on you like Esther. The favor of God is going to shine and beam on you like Esther. So whatever Haman's spirit has tried to block you, or curse you, or belittle you, 
God has got to put that to rest. And in this month of March, God's going to vindicate you. God's going to lift you up. Blessings to you, Christian Hag, for sowing a seed of marvel. And then God's going to bless you <clears throat> in this month of March. Michelle Strong, blessings to you. Kristen Hag, let me, let me pray for you, Kristen. Oh, are you from Kennewick? You know, I'm going to be back in Kennewick soon and the Pacific Northwest. <clears throat> Kristen, I see the hand of God being stretched over you. And God is saying in this season, I'm going to pick you up from the crowd. And I'm going to use you like a hand in a glove. A perfect fit like the days of Gideon. It's going to be a perfect fit like a glove on a hand or like the shoe, the stiletto of Cinderella. God says this is your Cinderella moment. Where at midnight there's going to be transformation. Get ready for transformation. Get ready for your Cinderella story to bloom and blossom. Shut up. I see God picking you up and picking you out. And God's going to begin to call you out to do things. Blessings to you, Maureen. God's going to use you to begin to do things that you've never done before. Like begin to testify, begin to minister, begin to preach. Lay your hands on the sick, heal the sick. Amen. Shoot. Michelle Strong, I love that name, Strong. I wonder if that's your last name or that's the Facebook name. Michelle Strong, um, God says, you've been such a strength to many. But in this season, the burden's going to be light. The burden's going to be light and the yoke's going to be easy. In this season, Michelle, you're going to feel the love and the lightness of God. Where he is your husband, he is your kinsman redeemer, and he's going to lift the heavy burdens. He's doing the heavy lifting on your behalf. Hallelujah. Things are going to move for you. I see moving, moving, moving. God's, I release divine movement over you, divine life over you. Do you not perceive it? It springs up in the name of Jesus. Shoo. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Zarabalaladeska I love you, Jesus. Mary Ramona, thank you. God bless you for sowing your seed of marvel. Shoo, Jesus. Wow. Woo, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Wow. I'm just God is so good. Arlene, I want to pray for Arlene. Arlene, God says, get ready for returns, reversals, and recompense. Your family is getting strengthened and tight-knit in the glory of God. And there's a family blessing that's coming to your family. I literally see a glory cloud bubble coming over your family. So there's a family blessing that's about to be unlocked and opened up for your family. Um, great favors come in your family. Like literally, your family name will be honored. Carlos, Carlitos Way will be honored. Carlos will be honored. Oh, Jesus. I see you walking in a new walk, walking in a new way, walking in a new manner. Just like Mordecai, dressed in robes of royal blue and white. That's going to be you. White, which stands for purity. Blue, which stands for revelation. Pure revelation, pure vision is coming to you right now. Rabba, baba, what's in cloudy? What seemed doomed and gloomed? Blessings to you, Kathleen. 
what seemed dark and heavy, mysterious, is going to be pure revelation to you. In the name of Jesus. Some say hallelujah. Now let me pray for one more person here today before we log off. Now before I pray for the last person, I want to invite you, like I said, we have so many different events coming. I want to invite you to our Open Heavens North Hollywood Conference. All right. <clears throat> our Open Heavens North Hollywood Conference. It's going to be from March 10th to the 14th. We have Georgian Banoff, Jamie Galloway, Jesse Shep, and we just added Eddie James. Incredible worshiper. Oh, my gosh. One of the greatest gospel voices of our generation. You need to come March 10th to the 14th. Come be a part of it. Some Somebody post a link and pin it, please. But if you can't come, I want you to register for our private online streaming, okay? You can register at benlandglobal.com. I want you to register. Uh, all right, make sure you see the private online streaming all right open heavens north all the way this is going to be game changer it's going to be game changer all right it's our first major regional conference and it's going to be a game changer all right so come 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 and or if not then view online streaming the online streaming is private i mean it's going to be another level of course i also want to invite you to our my next webinar called The Gift of Discernment. It's going to be on March 22nd, all right? The Gift of Discernment on March 22nd. All right, and you can sign up for that as well at benlamglobal.com. And I also want to invite you, listen, in April, I'm doing a conference in Arizona. I got Katie Souza, Eddie James, and Georgian Banoff in April. In Phoenix, Arizona. Spread the word for that. And also, I'm going to be in Hawaii in May with Pastor Suzanne Han and Katie Souza in Hawaii. Someone say, Aloha. Someone say, Shakalom. In May, we're going to be in Hawaii with myself, Pastor Suzanne Han and Katie Souza. It's going to be incredible. March, North Hollywood, LA. Sign up, come. April, Arizona, May, Hawaii. Now let me pray for one more person before we close today. Someone say, March is my month of marble. Oh, Jesus. If you want me to pray for you, just come and pray for me. Let me just bless one more person here before we leave. Listen, people of God, I want you to comment below. What spoke to you the most from this prophetic word for this month? What spoke to you? What ministered? Adrian, what ministered to you the most for this month of March? Speak loud. New assignments for the month of March. I received that word. New assignments. Yeah. Are you crying? No. Or did you yawn? No. You're not crying? No, I'm not. Why are you lying? <laughs> it's okay know. to cry. Are you crying? I received that. No, I won't. It's my eyes are watering. Yeah, my eyes are watering. Okay. Adrian here. He's been helping me, really, with our filming and all that. He is um, doing such a great job. Amen. <laughs> and he, you're excited for new assignments. Amen. I received that. Thank you, Jesus. Your birthday is on March 27. Amen. My brother's birthday is March 25. Amen, Carlos Summer. So glad you're not named Carlos Winter. Amen. Sing the ring. Yes. Reversal returns the rings. Yes, Father's moving. Let me pray for Zanzia Allen. This is a name I've never seen. Zanzia Allen. Um, I see a great peace coming to you. What if you you feel like 
if you feel like you're in pieces, those pieces are coming to one piece. So there's a unity coming. There's a wholeness coming. There's a reconciliation coming. The pieces are turning into a peace. And the peace of God is about to come to you. God says, do not fear, for I'm bringing order to the chaos. I am bringing divine order and peace, shalom, to what seems chaotic. Hallelujah. I see angels of peace being released to you, Zanzia. Angels of peace. Huh. I see angels of peace and angels of encounter being released to you, Zanzia. People of God, blessings to you. I love you. This is Pastor Ben Lim. I hope you enjoyed today. People of God, March is going to be a mega month. A mega month. Marsha, Marsha, bless you for your seed of marvel. It's going to be a mega month, people of God. I can't wait to see it open heavens in North Hollywood or at one of our church services very soon. I will be in North Carolina this coming week. After that, I'll be in North Hollywood for a conference. After that, I will be back in Pacific Northwest in Oregon, Bend, Portland, and possibly even back to Kennewick, Washington. All right? Blessings to you. Love you. Hope to see you soon, personally or virtually. God bless.